Welcome to Deep Stories, where we dig up the deep facts of your favorite games. Our story begins as Mario is immediately forced to take care of a problem that the villagers just stand around watching. Before he can explore, he'll have to take care of the red hot chain chomplets. They seem to be in distress as they run around, so why are they so hot and fiery? As you know, this breed of chomp is closely related to the chain chomp and shares their appetite for mushrooms. The chomplets ate the spicy flaming mushrooms that can be seen growing around the village. The mushrooms burn their mouths and cause them to drip spicy diarrhea wherever they walk. Sadly, water is not known for being a good cure for spiciness, so despite being dunked in it, after Mario teleports back to Delfino Plaza, the chain chomps soon resume their spicy rampage, causing thousands in property damage. When Mario gets back in the morning after getting only a few hours of sleep, he's immediately challenged to a race by Il Piantissimo. The only real strange thing here is why he's so mean to you if you lose. The answer lies in the timer and in his family tree. As we all know by now, Piantissimo is the brother of the mailman from Ocarina of Time, who is known for his time control powers. It's impossible to beat the mailman in a race even by cheating. Piantissimo sadly inherited the opposite power of their father. When he races, a time dilation occurs around him, making him move incredibly slowly. As you can see by the timer, it takes more than 24 hours for him to complete this simple race. This is why, if you're so slow that you can actually lose to him, he can't resist the rare chance to gloat. He gets so overzealous that he accidentally kills Mario. The next time Mario arrives, he finds that Shadow Mario was waiting for him. The entire floor is covered in fiery goop, which begs the question, why doesn't he do this more often? The answer is that he didn't paint it this time. He captured two pooping birds from Bianco Hills and brought them here. Knowing their reputation for producing incredible amounts of feces, he force-fed them spicy mushrooms. This caused them to drop waves of spicy diarrhea all over the village. A fun fact is that the mayor on top of his golden mushroom can succumb to third degree burns from being covered in the diarrhea if you take too long. If this happens, he will die and the player will get a game over. The fourth time Mario comes back, he's greeted by a normal red hot chain chomp. You might be tempted to think this is another case of spicy mushrooms, but you'd be mistaken. He's actually hot because he's incredibly angry. We can deduce the true story by looking closer. You can see some golden scratches on him. This is because he was actually a golden chain chomp who was painted black. This also explains why there's some gold around his eyes. They didn't want to get paint in them. Then in his rage at having his splendor covered up, he accidentally scratched himself, revealing his true color. By bringing him to the Pianta Snot Spring, you can wash off the paint and bring him peace. This works because the snot spring is not made of snot as many believe, but actually acetone. Surprisingly, Mario's father's first appearance in the franchise is in this mission. You can see his similar mustache and hear him calling Mario son. When Mario goes to the multi-fruit tree, you can see the chili pepper is conspicuously missing. By looking around we can find out why. The spicy mushrooms have all been harvested after the previous missions, leaving only the regular ones. This red pianta got desperate for some spice and stole a village's last remaining chili. After passing some one-ups that Mario hasn't grown large enough to eat yet, he enters the secret world. After passing through the metal detector, he is greeted by many chuckster homunculi. These creations of Bowser attempt to throw him off the edge into the void, explaining why this one doesn't get attacked by the stroll and stews surrounding it. It's too dark here for these homunculi to photosynthesize with their trees, so Bowser sends his son Shadow Mario here once a day to feed them. After Mario killed the two poop birds a couple days ago, Shadow Mario only has a little more spicy diarrhea saved up. He uses it to attack the Piantas directly this time. Unlike with the mayor, we now have a timer to see how long they have to survive until their diarrhea birds kill them. This Pianta here is pretending to help but actually wants the others to suffer. The nearby Piantas beg him to hurry and clean but he blatantly tells you he doesn't want to. This kind of behavior is why red Piantas typically look down upon the chartreuse Piantas. If Mario lets the Piantas die, their family's collective grief and anger psychically hits Mario all at once, killing him instantly. Shadow Mario, after realizing he's out of spicy diarrhea, panics and tries to make his own by eating the last spicy mushroom he got from the mushroom merchant. Unfortunately for him, Mario catches him orange-handed and beats the crap out of him as he pathetically tries to run away, soiling himself the entire time. Finally, Mario joins the Piantas Fluff Festival celebration. But after stealing the red coins from the children's coin hunt event, and sacrificing them to the mother Pianta tree to form a shine sprite, he is banned from returning to the village. This is why it's impossible to collect the other four shine sprites the mayor is hoarding to himself. 
Mario can sneak back in, but the mayor will never offer more shine sprites. And those are the deep facts that make up the deep story of Pianta Village. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, add to your favorites list, share on social media, and watch the video again.